Today I'm gonna to show you a brand new style by Belle Tress. It's called Alpha Blend. Coming up. This wig was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review today. Belle Tress is always 30% off at Wig Studio One. That is an automatic discount at checkout. Also, uh, there are several overstock items located in the clearance section of Wig Studio One, where you'll actually find this style at 40% off, available in lots of different colors while supplies last. If you have any questions for Wig Studio One, please email support at wigstudioone.com. So what I'm wearing is Alpha Blend by Beltress in the color Honey with Chai Latte. Alpha Blend is a long, sleek, straight, shoulder skimming bob style. It has a slight angle and a beautiful, flawless look. But let's talk about this color first. It has been a while since I have seen the Honey with Chai Latte. I remember years ago, this was the only rooted blonde that they had in that original color palette by Beltrest. And since then, it's just exploded with blondes. And this to me, after I've seen some of the lighter, brighter blondes like Butterbeer Blonde and Bombshell Blonde, this just kind of looked a little muted and like a, dirt, a dirtier blonde to me. So let's get into the color. So it looks to me like a medium to dark, warm honey blonde, heavily then highlighted with a pale baby gold blonde. Now, I think there's a little bit more to it than that. I think maybe you'll see a little bit of rusty tones in there. And then also some platinum around the face. Now this is supposed to have a light brown root. However, most applications of this color that I have seen tend to have more of a medium brown root look about it. Now I will say that the rooting due to some shadows and the lighting does tend to look a little bit darker on camera than it is in actual. So overall, a warm, light, medium to light blonde. Now I wanna do a quick little unboxing for you as well. All of the typical Beltress packaging associated with this, their, you know, their black tie looking box and the gold embossed emblems and so forth. Uh, the wigs are always really well packaged and the packaging is really designed around what type of wig style it is to protect it and have it hold its shape. Um, so right out of the box, you know, I inspect it really well. I look at the inside of the cap. And what I noticed on this one is that um, it had a really stubborn weave pattern. So I got in there with my wide tooth comb and I tried to separate it and so forth. And it's really difficult to do in, in the camera because the camera is small and the mirrors are big. So um, I attempted to do that, but I finished the unweaving of the part off camera. So what I actually had to do was move the part over just a tad within that monofilament parting space to really get rid of that weave pattern. And it's still a little bit there, but if you do have a stubborn weave pattern with a monofilament part, do your best to separate it. But then if you have to move it a little right or left, still within that parting space, and then really attempt to get a nice straight part on that. What happens is that those those zigzag parts, and I'm not really sure why they do that, um, but those zigzag parts can be steam pressed in there. And then, you know, they, they just need to be woke, woke up and separated and made into something that you will enjoy. Let's talk about the dimensions on this. So we're 13 inches off of the crown and 13 inches on the sides. However, that 13 measurement will stop start right here and down through the back and then I feel like the 13 will start about right here and forward. Now what that's gonna give you, even though the layering is identical on both the back and the front, it's going to give you an angular effect because that layer starts a little farther down in the front. Okay, there's minimal layering on this. Overall in the back, I would say it's 13, about 13 inches. Um, in the front from the hairline down, I would say that is also 13 inches, but like I said, the measurement was taken from different place, giving it the illusion of an angle. The style weighs 5.4 ounces and features a lace front and left monofilament side part. Let's take a look here. Okay, a couple of things. 
I think the lace front is very nice. The knots are very fine. What you're noticing here is a little bit of a line of demarcation where they have taken that platinum highlight right up to the root. That gives it a slight banding effect. And then directly behind that, then it starts in with the rooting. So you can really tell uh, where that rooting starts. But I think the lace front does blend very nicely and it's a nice fine knotting process there. And this does not extend back into the ear tab. So you wanna be careful that all of the seams are obscured depending on how you're styling it. And then the monofilament part goes back nearly to the crown. Beltrust has such a variety out there that you're sure to find something that is for you. Now, I don't typically wear straight bobs like this. I have such short measurements um, of my face and my neck. So I'm about six and a half inches from my widow's peak down to my chin and about three inches under my chin to my collarbone. So both of those measurements are fairly short compared to the average. So this is really gonna look a lot longer than me on me than most of you out there. But what it does on me, I think it just, um, it really drags the face down for me. And also where the layers break, it, it kind of creates a little buoyancy um, right there at the shoulders and so forth. So you can't get a really good sense of the style because it's catching on my shoulders and so forth. So if you do have more petite measurements as I've demonstrated, then just know that um, this style can be a little overwhelming. So it does have a nice lush density. And what I mean by that is there is a lot of hair here. Uh, there's minimal layering, as I said, kind of a blunt cut edge. Now this is the heat friendly fiber by Beltress that is present on all of the styles in that cafe collection. The Heat Friendly Fiber by Beltress is my favorite uh, heat friendly fiber. Each one of these fibers is really baby fine. It's really soft and plush to the touch. And it reflects light in a way that doesn't create an unnatural shininess to the wig. So it feels much like healthy human hair and it looks like healthy human hair as well. So there's very little permatease on this style. There's no palpable permatease, meaning I can't reach in and feel any pillowy, soft pillowy permatease presence there. But it's enough to cover the wefts and enjoy some really nice coverage here. There's a lot of body in these fibers, the lush density, but there's just a beautiful bouncy, buoyant movement. There is a little bit of contour at the front. Um, it is very minor. Uh, this was present right out of the box. I didn't add any lift or anything to it. I just kind of picked it up with my fingers there. But what happens is that the, these layers are so long in the front that even if I pick that up a little with my fingers, in a matter of minutes, it will have been drawn back down. So if you wanted to any kind of significant lift with any kind of hold, you're probably gonna have to use a heat appliance there to create that. Inside, look at the cap for Beltress's Alpha Blend. There's that temple to temple lace front, seamlessly moves back into a left monofilament side part. It does not extend back into the ear tab. And then we have a velvet covered closed ear tab here. Now the stays are fairly minimal in this. There are some stays, but they're quite small, but ample. A standard velvet nape with bra strap type 
adjusters. Lots of wefting and lots of stretch. This style is average right out of the box. I had to cinch it in as far as it could go to accommodate a petite average circumference. So this style is just like this, right out of the box, really no styling necessary for it to look impeccable and flawless. But if you do want to change up your look a little bit, I'll take you through a couple of ideas that I have for this style. Thank you so much for joining me today for a look at the Alpha Blend by Belle Trust. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.